everyone, it's Lori. Welcome back to Bizazz Studios. I'm going to show you a video that I uploaded to YouTube that I actually did over on my uh, Facebook Live. And say thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for being here. Doing another Facebook Live with you today. Thank you for joining me. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. And I'm actually going to do a base here of black and white on my tile. Just do a video live with you real quick because I haven't been on yet this week. So here I am. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I hope you're all having a great day. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some black paint down and some white paint down as my base instead of just white. My last couple videos I've been doing just white and I think my last couple lives I actually did uh, some flowers. So today I'm going to, I'm just going for strictly a lot of cells. So I'm going to spin this completely out. I'm not going to shape it into a flower or anything today. So I'm going to have lots of cells and lots of pretty colors and iridescence and if all goes according to plan, this should actually come out very nice. We will see. So just take me a moment to lay down my base paints here. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you cover all your sides. All right, so the black is down and now I will put down some white. Black and the white here are house paints. changed my house paint on me. I was using a particular one for my white and I had to go search for a new one. So, so far this one has been eh. <laughs> not as good as my last one. So it's not my favorite, but um, I've been making it work. My other one um, you know, you just get used to something and then they change it or they discontinue it or they change the recipe on how they make it or whatever and it changes everything you do. Because this art form is not just throwing down paint. There's a lot of science behind it and um, the way the paints interact and the way you mix the paints and things like that is a big part of it. So, this is looking good. I have my white down, I have my black down. I'm going to find myself a toothpick somewhere. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it was right next to me, of course. And I just have a couple air bubbles. I'm going to pop a couple bubbles here so that these don't pop after I lay down my paints and when I spin it out. I've done a few other tiles similar to this. I actually did this earlier. See if I can show you this one. I did this one earlier today and it's very wet still, so I'm letting it dry. But I will show you, this is sort of the effect that I'm going for. So, this came out amazing. Absolutely love it. So I'm going for something like that today. It's called the bloom technique. All its own ingredients and everything. So it's a lot different than some other techniques in fluid art. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting down some gold. This is uh, just a metallic gold, 24 karat. And this is Amsterdam's Ultramarine Violet really pretty purple. I think purple and gold look really pretty together. Next color I have is a metallic orange. And this one's the light magenta and then I'm going to use a brilliant magenta. And then I'm going to put down my cell activator which is a white one today. So I have my cell activator here. I'm going to go ahead and lay this down and we'll watch the magic happen when I blow this out. Oh, pretty. These colors are so pretty. All right, I need to give this some time here for this to come back to the center. I'm gonna blow these corners a little bit further out. All right, that's better. So 
I'm looking for something that's just entirely covered with cells. That is my goal, and this is looking amazing, so I'm on the right track here, which is great for a live video. Hooray! <laughs> Never know what you're gonna get, especially on live video. This is looking amazing. I am extremely happy with this. The cells in this are just phenomenal. The lacing is amazing. This tile is super pretty. So I'm giving it an extra love here. <laughs> By popping every little bubble. It almost looks like a flower in the middle. I don't know all the names of all the flowers, that's for sure, but I don't know. It almost looks like a rose to me. Does it look like a rose to you? That pink part looks like a pink rose to me. <laughs> Am I just daydreaming? I don't know. Hmm. I almost hate to spin it, but I'm gonna spin it because uh, I'm going for, like I said, like that other tile that I just showed. All right, so let's give this a little spin. Very pretty, very pretty. I have a whole bunch of new products I have listed on the website too. If you're interested, go to pizzazzstudios.com. I have some gorgeous pieces over there if you're interested in purchasing any. If you have any gifts that you need to buy or anything like that, buy yourself a gift. That's always the best kind of gift, <laughs> in my opinion. This shimmers a lot. I don't know. I don't thinking like you're probably not seeing that on your end there, I don't know. I do want to try to tip it this way a little bit. And then I'm gonna spin it again. If you could leave me some comments, it would be much appreciated. I'm trying to decide if I wanna spin more or leave it as it is. I think if I spin more, I'm gonna end up with just a lot of pink, and I don't wanna lose all the pretty colors around the edges. So at this point, um, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna leave it just like this. This came out absolutely amazing. The lacing and the cells. The cells are multicolored. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope to see you again here soon on my next Facebook Live. I'm just gonna clean off the bottom and I am done. I'm gonna set it aside to dry. All right, here we go. This is worth a close up. You must see this. Look at this. Wow. I love the black and the white base. I think that's really pretty. The gold in there does give it some iridescence as well. And they actually used the uh, orange metallic pink too, so that actually adds to it too with the iridescence. But all right, everybody. Thanks again. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.